Oh, we've got uh, partly cloudy skies out there this midday. Just fair weather clouds moving south to north across the area along with our south to southeast winds and showers and storms mainly offshore and even more so as you head up into southeast Texas. And again today, with the sea breeze boundary as we go through the afternoon hours, we could see a couple of those showers pop up like we saw yesterday. Low to mid 90s for highs inland, mid and upper 80s there along the coast with those winds gusting up around 20 miles an hour in spots, but all in all, not too bad. There are normal valley average high has dropped now down to 93. So here's the situation. We have a major cold front that has moved through the Rockies and parts of the Midwest. 51 degrees now in Amarillo, 74 degrees though in Lubbock, but go out into the Rockies and we're looking at snow, sleet, freezing rain out in the Colorado, Wyoming. Temperatures at or below freezing in many areas. And this front's going to try and make it all the way into deep south Texas. The problem is different computer models are all trying to hold it back or even not bring it through at all or bring it through very weak. So here's one of them looking at 3.30 this afternoon, 50 degrees in Amarillo, 91 degrees in Lubbock is the forecast on this one. And watch, though, as we go through uh, the tomorrow morning into tomorrow afternoon, it's slow to move into north and central Texas. And it really doesn't even make it towards South Texas until Thursday. And this particular computer model doesn't even bring it this far south, keeping the 80s from Austin, San Antonio down here to the valley. But another computer model does bring it through again on Thursday, slowing it down as it makes its way through Central and North Texas, and then starts to bring it in the upper valley first, and then through all of the Rio Grande Valley by Thursday afternoon. Again, I'm kind of leaning towards it either not making through or making through very weak, keeping us still in pretty warm temperatures, but hopefully we can bring some of that humidity down. Out in the tropics, we've got uh, this area right here. This is a tropical wave now, 70% chance of development as it moves off towards the west. And then we also have uh, Paulette and Renee out there, both tropical storms. Uh, Renee with 40 mile an hour winds, Paulette now with 65 mile per hour winds. Gulf of Mexico, pretty quiet right now. And then we have this area, another tropical wave in the Atlantic, moving towards the Carolinas right now with a 40% chance of development over the coming days into at least a tropical depression. And here's how those tracks look for Renee and Paulette. Renee forecast become a category one hurricane, then curving out into the open waters of the Atlantic. Paulette kind of doing the same thing, eventually curving around towards the Northwest into the open Atlantic. So hopefully both of these will stay away from the U.S. mainland, but we still have a long ways to go. In fact, peak hurricane season a couple days away. So we've got Paulette and Renee now. Sally is the next one up. In fact, we only have four left before we start going to Alpha, Beta, which we did back in 2005. There's your seven-day forecast of the weekend, always in view. And those rain chances are going to stay relatively high. Again, we're going to have to watch this closely, that front, as it approaches us tomorrow and Thursday. Right now, I've got temperatures only down to 88, as cool as I have on this seven-day forecast. But again, we'll watch this closely. Rain chances, though, do go up, especially tomorrow through Friday and then again Sunday and Monday.